I could use any word I wanted. The farmers hated the word sepsis. Sir, we don't want anything. We just want a level playing field. It's been this way for 20 years, and it's been, it's been absolutely hurting us. They didn't want anything. And I said, you know, are you serious? They said, yeah, we just want a level playing field. Nobody can beat us, and it's true. Nobody can beat. They want a level playing field. And I said to myself, can you imagine? Everybody that comes in, countries, other businesses, everybody, they want money. The farmers don't. They just wanted a level playing field. And that was at the bottom when they really were looking. It was looking pretty bad. But now, China's going to be buying $50 billion worth of product. The most they ever remember got was 16, so they're buying 50. We agreed to 20. And in the final day, they were getting the agreements ready. I said, how much are the farmers getting? Meaning, how much is China going to purchase from our farmers? 20 billion. I said, do me a favor, make it 50. They said, 50. I said, the farmers can't do that much, can they? I said, no. China said, absolutely not. I said, look, what does it mean? You got 1.5 billion people. What the hell difference between 20 billion and 50? It doesn't mean anything. They said, you're right. We'll give you 50. It's crazy. It's crazy. My only problem is I don't think the farmers can produce that much. It's going to be very good to be a farmer when that whole thing kicks in. We understand that our first lady and highest, uh, and, and you have to remember this, uh, when our first lady came out, she said to me today, say hello to everybody. And she said that your first duty and your highest loyalty, and this was coming right from her, is to the American citizens. And you really have to let the people know. This is Melania told me this. Can you believe this? She's like giving me a history lesson. Our first lady is giving me a history. Our, ho our highest loyalty to the American people. I said, OK. That was pretty good. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll tell her. I'll tell her that was the single best line in the whole speech. Okay. <laughs> Nowhere has the American left more thoroughly violated this sacrosanct principle than on immigration. Illegal immigration costs American taxpayers hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars a year, funds that could be used to improve our schools, roads, hospitals, and other vital services. Instead, Democrats want to take even more of your money to give illegal aliens free health care, free federal welfare, free education. They get treated better than they want to treat our military and our vets. And it, I stopped it, but it's crazy. The Democrat Party's immigration policies empower bloodthirsty cartels that maim, murder, and torture, that smuggle and traffic innocent human beings that flood our communities with poisonous drugs. The left's immigration policies are not compassionate. They're heartless, merciless, and cruel. Countless Americans are killed every year by criminal aliens. These are illegal aliens that come in, and they are, in many cases, very bad people. In Houston, Texas, an illegal alien was charged with the murder for killing a 75-year-old grandmother in her home, stabbing her with a vicious machete knife 13 times in the chest. In Georgia, an illegal alien was charged with murder for killing, beheading, and dismembering his neighbor. Yet despite these travesties, the far left supports deadly sanctuary cities where people like that get protection that release criminal alien predators into innocent communities rather than handing them over to our great heroes of ICE. ICE, they take such abuse. ICE, the toughest gangs in the world, MS-13, they slice people up. ICE takes them out by the thousands. Nobody else wants that job. The men over here don't want that job, I can tell you right now. They're tough, and they 